Hello guys, this is another quick video about uh, me trying to understand a bit more and dig, dig a, dig a little bit deeper inside the source file of, of MetaHumans. So this time around I wanted to um, basically see how uh, this shader was working because I've noticed that uh, this kind of deformation is not purely achieved by blend shape and skin cluster but some details is actually achieved by a shader effect shader which I consider quite cool. This is a direct text shader which means this thing is only available in Windows. Uh, so wh when I move left and right uh, all these wrinkles here on top of being geometry this is actually also um, texture. The same, the same goes here this wrinkle. This is what, what they call blood flow and cavity map and the way is isolated is by using a mask different masks in the shader. So what I've done here uh, compared to last time um, is that I sculpted a different mesh and this happens to be myself. So this is the same topology but I basically sculpted the shape using this, the shape of my head using this topology in, in ZBrush um, and then I've, I've used, I've used um, photogrammetry to achieve most of the shapes and then I had to clean it up in, in ZBrush. But the good thing is that from the re from the photogrammetry got some color data that I was able to manipulate afterwards. So um, let's first run run the script um, to retarget like last time. So here you can see the class. So again, the script. Um, is now going to introspect the graph and 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 basically apply this shape to the to, to the graph that represents this final deformation. But this time around, I wanted to play a bit more with it with the shader. So what I've done in the meanwhile while it's computing, I've uh, I've opened the textures that do exist in the project, and you can see that they have a default map, which looks like this. And in here. I, I, this is the texture I projected from different photos and you can see it's a bit, it's in a different color space, it has lighting information, this was a quick test, I, I didn't, you know, normalize or anything. So what I've done then is that I, you know, I started manipulating for, with Photoshop, uh, you know, and started applying different, a different color space to match roughly the shader texture input. And, and then what I've noticed is that you can see here that the difference between um, this texture and this texture is the wrinkles. So there is this one, this one, this one, and this is what they call blood flow. And then these this areas here are isolated by using mask left and right, up and down, um, which I think is pretty cool. So in the end, after a bit of manipulation, I recreated, you know, wrinkle. Wrinkle. I apologize for the quality of the texture. This is not really the point. Uh, I just wanted to basically understand the graph a bit more. So the, the, the retargeting has been made, which means I should be able to move this around now. All the beautiful deformation is coming through. Uh, compared to last time, this is a, a more realistic head, which means you know that, that there is more detail coming through compared to the stylized one I've made yesterday. Um, okay, so if I press six, uh, six now, it should load the texture. It should load the texture. Um, should load the texture. Yeah, there we go. It's taking a bit of time, I think. I, and you can see that this is the de basically is the default texture applied to my head. If we go into the shader and, and basically change the inputs, um, I think I think it's around here. I'm not going to change the normal map because I think it looks pretty cool. So there is the base color head file, which is the diffuse in the, to the diffuse map. I'm going to point it to to this one, which is exactly what you saw in Photoshop because the UV space is the same, everything matches, and, and 
then what what the CM1 I believe it stands for cavity map but it's like it's a cavity map or you know what they assign to bl the blot full portion of the graph uh, so I'm gonna point to CM1 and then again see let me let me grab this path really quickly and then CM3 um, okay and now now basically when I'm triggering all those nice wrinkles should appear you can see that it's still fading a bit and to to let's see if I if I take this out see how it looks if I take completely out the diffuse texture which is now black you can see what I was talking about the masks being triggered which is pretty awesome Okay, cheers.